the worst I finally come to the worst. Everywhere I finally boss in the area of today. What we'll be saying about Bola Ahmed I finally come true. Bola Ahmed I finally come for Nigerian pastors. Tinubu is on his vice to put Nigerian pastors in three years imprisonment. He's on vice to put Bishop Boydepo, Pastor Paul Eneshi, and some other great Nigerian pastors, Ida Boski, the person of Prophet Odumenji. All of them are going on three years imprisonment. And this alone has stirred up a lot of reactions today. Nigeria said they want to finish watching Afcon before they will come back to Bola Ahmed Tinubu. And Afcon have already ended yesterday. Now, the trouble have begun. Come and see what is happening. Nigeria said no to what Tinubu said in this very video. I will play you the video. You will hear everything yourself. We can like us to stay connected to the end of this video. You can share this video. Ensure you share. The war has started. Ensure you share to different social media platforms. If you can't share it, just like it. Like it, give it a thumb up. So that it will be recommended for us. We will stay connected. I'm coming back again. Welcome you back to Lachibong Wash TV. I don't have violence for you today. To be told of religious gossip. And the boys will leave the fight for Mohammed. What is happening in the Christian world? Join now. It makes sense with Lachibong. Hello my great and wonderful viewers, welcome back to Lightpro Watch TV. For those of you coming across the channel for the very first time, make sure you click the subscription button appearing on your video screen. And at the same time, don't forget, click the notification bell icon so that whenever we drop a new video in few hours time, YouTube will easily notify you. The wars have finally come to the wars in Nigeria. APC people have finally bring their war to the limelight. You can see what is happening right now. Bola Ahmed Tinubu have finally come for almost everybody in Nigeria. You know, it was a few days ago since when they conducted the election, Bola Ahmed Tinubu have been receiving back to back bass boosts on the social media. A lot of things have actually happened. A lot of Nigerians have finally put it on their side that no, since they said they will not do the right thing, since they said they will not do the right thing for Nigerians, they won't see rest on me. That is what is happening. In a situation where the government is doing the writing the youth will be the one posting up and down and telling people about the good things that the government is doing now well i met Nobu and his own cabinet and all of that since they started their government government has not even up to a year a lot of things have gone wrong in nigeria you know we first of all finished the eight years of buhari and all of that and people were dying and all of that people were crying and they were crying in pain just because there is a massive suffering and total suffering in nigeria and all of that now but Bola Ahmed Tinubu came in the name of Renew Hope and some people made their vote for Bola Ahmed Tinubu even though we did not know what happened, how Tinubu do everything possible that he entered and all of that. But when Tinubu entered, the suffering of the people turned to suffering pro mass. That is what is happening. People cannot even afford to buy things on their own again. People cannot afford to buy the basic foodstuffs again. People are dying of hunger every day. Two square men is now impossible in Nigeria. Now, a lot of civil servants are requesting for their demands and many of them have turned to slaves in Nigeria. Civil servants are wearing rag in Nigeria. I mean government workers. They can't even send their children to school again. A lot of things have gone on within the nine months of Bola Ahmed Nubu in office. That is what is happening at the moment. And a lot of Nigerian youth came out and they are making it known to the general public about what is happening in the Asura Kemba, the atrocities that these people are committing despite the hike in food and price of commodities in the country these people will still mafia money they will still buy suv cars for themselves they will still renovate the office of the first lady they will still buy yachts for themselves of over five billion so when nigerian youth are doing this thing tinubu have finally come up with a master plan and this plan is what is causing the reaction today nigeria said no this will not stand this can never stand i'd like us to stay connected to the end of this video if you can share this video ensure you share it share it to different social media platforms let it go viral let everybody in Nigeria know what is happening and even in the diaspora our brothers and sisters in the diaspora must know what is going on in Nigeria right now so if you can share this video share it and if you can share just like it give it a thumb up so that it will be recommended for us Tinubu have finally made an order today you know everything that they are seeing in the Asso Rock is what will benefit them they do not have the common man in mind they do not have the people in mind so whatever they are doing the SUV that they bought for themselves did benefit from it you did not benefit from it. They bought cars of over 160 million naira for a senator. You did not benefit.
profit from it the yacht that they bought for themselves they call it presidential yacht have you ever seen the yacht yourself do you benefit from it you did not benefit anything from it the house of the first lady that is not even constitutional that they were renovating and all of that do you benefit anything from it you did not benefit from it that is the question out there and this thing have been what nigerian people have been talking about they are not beneficial of many of the things that bola ahmed tunubu is doing and nigerians are going out on different means they are articulating their feeling making their expression due to the fundamental human right that they have freedom of speech they go out the home media and they articulate their feeling they say their opinion regarding the government of bola ahmed tunubu as like they're doing in other countries but tunubu have finally come out he said no no nigerians should talk about him again no nigerian pastor should talk about him again anybody should talk about him he will put that person in three years imprisonment he said they're gonna put the person in three years imprisonment and don't forget this number in western in the time of jonathan he attacked jonathan government due to the fact that he said jonathan government is a competent government he attacked jonathan with the media bass bulls front and back nobody saw him nobody do anything nobody put him in three years imprisonment now he's putting nigerian pastors and even very dark man in three years in prison you will see the video yourself just stay connected you will see what is going on i'm gonna play you two videos in this video and you will cry for nigeria just stay connected i'm coming back again <laughs> so according to mr bajami allah um says social media must be regulated now me i just want to give my honest advice so there's two news bajami allah says social media must be regulated and then they say there's a three three years jail term for anybody that criticizes Asimwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu, our uh, president. First thing first, to Mr. Bajami Allah, the day you regulate social media by if they must, that is the day the people are going to rally against you. You people don't understand that this youth of Nigeria, they are distracted. Social media is making them not to see that the country is actually drowning. It is social media that have blinded their eyes. All these kids making and all this comedy and all these vibes they are catching online is what is making them not understand that you old people have scattered the country. It's what is making them not understand that the fuel price is going to hit 1,000 naira very soon. It's what is making them not to realize that dollar is almost getting to 2,000 naira. It's what is making them to, 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 to not realize that you people have scattered Nigeria to the point where investors are no longer coming in. So the day you put it away by force, say, okay, yes, you cannot, that's the day these people will start a revolution against you. So you better have sense and just leave it the way it is. It is an advice. But if you want to test your patience, do it and see what this shit will do to you. Now social media and I make them the cap. Come on social media one day, make sure it's what for this country. Don't turn them upside down for you. <laughs> now secondly, they say you cannot criticize and say what you believe in Tinubu. It's so funny that the Tinubu administration, they only channel their energy towards the wrong thing. You know? Now, Tinubu's regime obviously is the worst regime ever. It's starting is the worst starting ever in the history of this country. And if he continues like this, he will go down as the worst president that has ever emerged in Nigeria. You're coming into power, the first thing you are doing is to remove first subsidy. And you are saying that you use the money to do something good. But what did you use the money to do? Nothing. You are into more hardship. You are removing subsidy because you say we are the only people that buy cheap fuel in Nigeria. That is the reason why you are removing subsidy, not because you have a plan. You are saying that the, 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 we are the only people that are buying cheap fuel in Africa. Not because you have a plan to actually use the money to do something. You remove subsidy, you are buying cars for senators. You are buying a yacht. People are crying. Minimum wage is 30k. And you say the criticize Sinubu will go and serve three years in jail. That's the only thing that your mind is going to. Tinubu is not doing well. His administration is not doing well. We are suffering. Investors don't want to come to Nigeria. Diesel has skyrocketed. Fuel don't skyrocket. People are crying. And he said the criticism, that's the only thing you can talk about. That's the only thing you can put in place to regulate social media so that we, we cannot talk about you people's evil deeds. Eh? We have bad roads. People, are, people they kidnap. Then they have dust people there in their house. Book around the dude their own insecurity in the country. And the only thing you can say is that you regulate social media. You are shameless, sir. You are shameless. And to the team that are putting out that if you criticize Sinubu, that they will three years you tell me, people are shameless, fam. People are shameless. 
Shameless. Well, the reason why I like the law is that the law counters the law. Yes, that's the good part. Say if they criticize you, nobody give to JJ time. And you thought say we did for a uh, democracy system of government. And you say I get freedom of speech, nigga. So far, so far I'm not threatening to nobody. And I'm not inciting violence. You people cannot do nothing. You can't arrest anybody unless they start inciting violence and sending you like a direct threat to the president. Do you understand? That is when the hair. If you thought say okay, they'll go carry you. You understand? That's when they think carry you. But any other thing you people are saying is garbage. And Mr. Man, Mr. Baja Miala, you know, sometimes it's the respect that the youth respect to you, um, um, you people that is making people just do anyhow. Because so all these suits wake up one day now and decide, say, okay, yes, when I don't do, do, that time, you know, get mad, they talk. Now, beg, I beg, all of them go, they beg. Nobody say, now, come, they use power, they talk, all this one, they talk. Nobody's happy. The military, the military, the military, your salary, no deal. Police salary, no deal. Everybody just suffer. Now, they enjoy. They will now come control social media where they give people joy. People will learn. You better be careful. That person you call your leader as a watch you. You are calling yourself a leader. Stop that rubbish. You are not a leader. You are a disappointment. You're supposed to be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> that Nigeria did not know that many people died. For nonsense election. Look at a dirty people. Who do people lying in the daylight? They do not care about how Nigeria stay without light. They do not see it as a corruption. They see it as a, that is how it's supposed to be. Anybody that can support this kind of nonsense insult election before the whole war, do you know the insult? Do you know how these, these people below Nigeria, the giant of Africa, you are nothing in the eyes of the, any country. And you are talking rubbish because you see yourself be settled because you have the opportunity to get one appointment. You are favoring by the government. Government is not a favor. Government is a development. How can you people are so wicked calling yourself government, calling yourself a leader when you are leader for your stomach? Government is for development. Sell Nigeria in broad daylight. You see a president. Somebody you, you, you people selected Telling the children that you were advised Snatch it Grab it See what you are teaching the children that is coming before you as an elder Go to your brother, fight them Bring the, bring the boss for me And are grabbing hands A leader And you people are telling the person you may somebody do those things he do to Nigeria to their children. Anybody that endorse that person you call your leader as a watch you. May God use that character you do. Let human beings do those things to your children. President of a country is representing the country is an identity to us is our identity for any country to work on us is true by the character of our president any country that we come for before that country will respect us they will respect us true by the character of our president and your election become worse dead things when elderly people like you people can present us in the whole world that we are useless and you people are open your mouth and making news elder man like you open your mouth and making news you see where police people they will go and people where they are 
snatching people with that make him vote like animals and all the whole country are crying feeling pain and somebody come out as person you people selected i know that you did not vote for me i know how you are feeling now you are not happy with the boldness god will judge all of you we thought that by this time around that we will start to repair the damages that we have been causing since 1960 i thought when somebody is glowing you will be learning some mistakes and try to collect the mistake but nigeria are not glowing out of mistake rather they are coronating the mistake and coronating the, the corruption the pain of the youth that own the country you don't feel anything because they are giving you your own share from one uh, uh, local government or from one asolok you are getting your allocation you carry a pole walking around when people want to kill they will protect you look at you they are protecting i am sorry for you mopo they are using your life but how much are they paying you before you start to protect the person how much did the person pay you how much is your salary when they want to kill people you will put your life it's high time everybody must be humble to build the future of our own children you see elder people that call themselves father talking like talking like abulus aburo are in all work. when you saw everything very clear even somebody will come out and say any evil man if you know you are evil man here don't come here if you know you cannot vote for this world, don't come here look at how brothers become enemy because of the people that are doing their business making us to be enemy to ourselves because of their selfishness no 24 hours light no good road no security you are calling yourself a leader stop that rubbish you are not a leader you are a disappointment all the people that are occupying any seat from up to bottom up to bottom you're supposed to be ashamed of yourselves to calling yourself a leader every youth of this country never keep quiet for your rights no one on this country look at a small boy because they give him position of an eye neck it takes nigeria a praying with a lot of people playing all we are caribas men that are matters in the whole world are living and existing Nigeria going down going down in every blessed day other nation has seen us as nothing because of the match Nigeria have forgetting that dollar is 1005 look at another people currency and now keeping us to poor do you see how in it treats we are to be leader and not that people's money and i'm making our own money the president did not need the president of nigeria don't need to come out of the load or guy need your day put the load 
I'm telling you, I'm talking to Nigo Wong. You know, my news will go everywhere. You are a father, I'm a father. Even you are leader now, na, 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 my own leader is in, from God. We are talking to how we can make this country. But because before, we are not working for this country to work. I pray for you. May God change every condition in your life. If you go to market today, you price something, price it. And you say, I don't have the amount of money to buy that thing today. Go tomorrow. The thing will increase. That is the condition Nigeria is now. And politicians are so happy. If you see where they are, politicians, you don't need to move around the load. I am not telling you whether it's good for you, that's all. Every country that are moving successfully is by the politicians. The hardship of this country are caused by our politicians. And the politicians don't need to have peace. Because the money, you are not working it by yourself. You will be in your office. Monthly, even not before monthly, money be entered into your account. You are not suffering to get the money. So you can buy anything you want. But there are people that can never feed. One square meal in a day. When all of them surrender me, go to my phones. I am not a government. Your problem is government. Government, don't say you are not the problem of people of Nigeria. The problem of Nigeria is the government. It's from the president. It's from the Senate. The politicians in this country. Things are increasing every day. Nobody is talking. And you will see somebody you will carry my and you say I am a president. <laughs> Thank you for staying connected, my great and wonderful viewers. You can hear what very dark man say. You know, this guy is very popular as far as Nigeria is concerned now. And this guy is making a lot of sense on his content. You know, but Yabi Amela came out on behalf of Tinubu and he announced to the general public. He said, No, enough is enough that they want to regulate social media and all of that. He said, A lot of things have been said regarding Bola like Messi. You know, that if anybody to criticize Tinubu again, that that person will be thrown in three years in prison. Three years imprisonment. That was what this man said. You can see what these people are doing. Now, Tinubu is doing everything possible, and everybody is seeing it as if he's fighting for democracy. You know, when Kup took over Nigeria, Tinubu said they want to restore democracy as Ekwas chairman that he is, and all of that. So, these people are doing everything possible. They're actually using this democracy and putting these people in slavery. That is what is happening. Now, Nigeria did not accept it. Now, go to take over Nigeria now. Now, Tinubu now in his own country. He's doing everything possible to enslave Nigerians. Now, fundamental human right of Nigeria is freedom of speech. Freedom of expression is one of the fundamental human rights of all Nigerians. Nobody has the right more than any other person. In the time of Good Luck Jonathan, in 2013-2014, Tinubu is one of the people that are in the leading board. People that were attacking the administration of Good Luck Ebele Jonathan under PDP. Tinubu attacked this man using the media a lot, more especially the Twitter. He attacked the government to the government and incompetence one because there were Boko Haram killings and all of that. So Tinubu called out Jonathan in several occasions and he even led protests. I show you in my previous video that I posted before this one that you're watching. Tinubu and Buhari and all of that, they led protests, massive protests, they shut down Nigeria and this same person is now saying that protest is now a sin. The people that protested in Mena, the people that started the protest, they arrest many of them just because these people protested and they are asking for their fundamental human rights 
they are asking for security because there is a massive insecurity in nigeria the only people that are secure in nigeria are the politicians those are the people that nigeria military forces and nigeria armed forces are protecting the life of the people are in danger different kidnapping every day and there is hiking price of food people cannot afford to eat two square meals and the people protested that they are not okay with the high cost of living and the insecurity that is happening in nigeria and it is the same government that is still arresting them in the name of the father the inside violence and all of that when these people are articulating their feeling and they are agitating and expressing their pain that is what is happening and this same Tinubu in the time of jonathan he protested he and Buhari, they led massive protest they incite a lot of things in course of the good luck jonathan regime and all of that and this same Tinubu in question he used the media a lot to attack good luck jonathan and the same thing just like kama the same thing is happening to him now his incompetency is what people are actually talking about because they really want him to perform it is not only opposition party now it is those people that even voted for him that are even crying more and they are even the one talking about him more now because they really want him to perform but he's not performing he's not delivering he's not delivering anything good that is what is happening right now all his decisions is only beneficial to his capacity as well the people are not beneficial of a single thing and people cannot live a good life in nigeria and it is the same people that is now after now it's against them you don't want them to say anything about him where on net do we have a leader that no want criticism there's no leader without criticism as a leader you must be expecting criticism and you must be expecting appraisal people will praise you people will criticize you when you are doing the right thing they will praise you when you are doing the wrong thing they will criticize to correct you and that is what is happening in nigeria now they said they want to regulate social media you can see very dark man was telling them in that place said they will learn in the hard way they should try that thing that they want to be putting nigerian youth in jail for three years just because they criticize and correct the rascality and the criminality of Bola Ahmed you know, and all of that. Barry Dakman said they will learn in the hard way and that is what will happen. I know that everything they're fighting for is for revolution not to happen. That is what they're fighting for. That is why they're trying to put these things in place. But they are cooking it with what they are trying to do. They are cooking more of the revolution. That is what is going to happen if they should put this thing in place. That is just a simple advice for Bajabi Amila and Tinubu and all of that in the Asorok chamber. It is the same Tinubu that is now scared of revolution now. It is the same Tinubu that is scared of coup taking over Nigeria. He will always go to the chief of armed forces and all of that to just go and be begging him so that he will not take over Nigeria, so that coup will not take over Nigeria. That is what Tinubu have been found doing. He always beg the armed forces chairman, the chief of army staff and all of that. He will always beg him that he should ensure that coup will not take over Nigeria. And that one will begin to make pledges. Yes, it is not good for coup to take over a country. Democracy is the best government. Yes, Tinubu always say that and I agree to that fact. But are we really benefiting for the democracy that we're talking about? Do we really have freedom of speech in this democracy now? That is what is happening. Freedom of speech, ability to express your opinion, freedom of expression is one of the fundamental human rights of democracy. But they're not giving it to us now. The insecurity is there. They are kidnapping us every day. These people are not saying anything about it. These people are not saying anything about it. Even in fact, Tinubu is in another man's country in France there. On a VC that is private, that is not even constitutional, whereas they are killing people in this country, they are kidnapping people. We can't even travel in the highway of Nigeria again. And these same people are saying that we should not talk. These same people are saying that we should not talk about these things. These same people are saying that we should not criticize their government. You can see what is happening. They are trying to put Nigerians in total slavery. So I would like us to drop up in the comment section on this video. Looking at what would you major said, a lot of Nigerian pastors are saying the same thing. How many Nigerian pastors did they want to arrest? Are they going to put Odumeji in three years in prison? Right now, are they going to put Paul Enesha in three years in prison? Right because those are the Nigerian pastors that are talking more about Bola and Metinubu. Are they going to put Joseph Suleiman in three years in prison? Right just because he criticized Tinubu? Are they going to put Bishop David Yudeko and some other big Nigerian pastors and other bloggers that are talking about all this criminality of this government? Are they going to put them in three years in prison right as stated by Femi by the Abia Mela in this very video? Drop a in the comment section on this video and we see how many nigerian youth that they will put in that prison they should go and build a brand new prison for nigerian youth majorly for people that are criticizing Tinubu, and they should be packing all of them there they should start building it now so drop a in the comment section of this video as i'm going to get another thing for you and sure follow me on my social media handles 
on Facebook at Lipo Watch TV and Lipo Entertainment on Instagram at Lajipo. Guess what, guys? See my next video. Bye. Pastor where they bar, where where? Politicians where they do pass me, say. Corrupt leader, how they why you waiting for church? Panama, Panama, Panama. All I'm glad you bought was me.